People always look at outside managers with a great deal of scepticism. Like who are they from outside the county bounds to come in here and tell us how we should play? But sometimes it works out. So we're looking at six of the best outside managers in GAA history. Before we start with our top six, I think it's imperative that we look at some honourable mentions. So with apologies, Paddy O'Shea, Liam Kearns, Davy Fitz, Kevin McStay and the underrated Len Gaynor. Lads, you did excellently, but it's just not good enough. There were whispers that Dublin was on the verge of a hurling renaissance when Anthony Daly took over in 2008, but nobody could have anticipated what was to come. They survived low points, Antrim in 2010 and all of 2012, but who would have thought in 2013 that Dublin would be Leinster hurling champions? Michael Bond stepped into the breach as Offaly manager following a loss in the 1998 Leinster final where manager Babs Keaton made some dismissive comments towards his Offaly team. Bond came in, galvanised the troop and, thanks to the back door, Offaly got to the All-Ireland final and they won the team. There's nothing quite like getting won over on your native county. Although Eamon Cregan looked absolutely shell-shocked when his Offaly side be his native Limerick in the 1994 All-Ireland Final. Cregan was part of Limerick's last All-Ireland success in 73 and he was the reason why his fellow county men would have to wait even longer for an All-Ireland. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Although we never won an All-Ireland as an outside manager, Mick O'Dwyer's success with Kildare, Leash and even Wicklow deserves a mention. He took Kildare to an All-Ireland Final in 97, taking several scalps along the way. He took Leash to a long overdue Leinster in 03 and made Wicklow a force in their home ground. Awfully bleeding love outside managers. We've talked ad nauseum about the hurling success, but Eugene McGee took the Offaly footballers to the greatest prize of all and arguably the greatest All-Ireland Final of all in 1982. And he's from Longford. Longford! And he won an All-Ireland. John O'Mahony is the quintessential outside manager. He was sacked by his native Mayo in 01 and he made them rue that day for a very long time. In 1994, he won Connacht with Leitrim of all teams. Leitrim. Then, in 97, he's appointed as Galway manager, where he beats fellow outside manager Mick O'Dwyer's Kildare in the final. More provincial success follows. Then, when the qualifier debate comes around in the early part of the 21st century, Galway say, we don't want the qualifiers. Then, they end up having to go through the qualifiers to get to the championship. And what do they do? They win the All-Ireland by virtue of the back door. And that's the end of the video. Feast on more balls.ie content right here.